And here is the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday. It's the 2nd of July, 2019. 1698 on this day, the British engineer Thomas Savory patented the first steam engine. He was trying to find a way to pump water out of coal mines and eventually built this machine that itself was filled with water. When steam was introduced under pressure, the water level rose. It created a vacuum that would draw more water up through the valve below. It was Thomas Savory who came up with the term horsepower. It was on this day, 1937, Amelia Earhart was last heard from somewhere over the Pacific. She and her navigator, Fred Noonan, had set off in May from Miami to fly around the world in a Lockheed Electra. They'd completed all but about 7,000 miles of the trip, landed in New Guinea. There were U.S. Coast Guard ships in place to help guide them to their next stop, the tiny Howland Island. Weather cloudy, rainy when they left New Guinea. Earhart communicated to the Coast Guard cutter Itasca, We must be on you, but we cannot see you. Fuel is running low. Been unable to reach you by radio. We're flying at 1,000 feet. Her last transmission about an hour later was, We are running north and south. It's the birthday of... Singer-songwriter Greg Brown, born in Fairfield, Iowa, 1949. His father was a Pentecostal preacher, his mother an English teacher who played electric guitar. Greg Brown has recorded two dozen albums, including songs of innocence and experience, poems by William Blake set to music. It's the birthday of the poet Wisława Szymborska, born in Poland, 1923. Wrote her first poems for the Krakow newspaper. She wrote a column in a journal, Literary Life, for 20 years. Wrote book reviews. And when, in 1996, she won the Nobel Prize for Literature, very few people outside of Poland had ever heard of Miss Szymborska. She accepted the Nobel Prize with a speech that began, They say the first sentence in any speech is always the hardest. So, that one's behind me anyway. And it's the birthday of the lawyer and Supreme Court Justice Thurgood Marshall, born in Baltimore, 1908. He was the lawyer for the NAACP who argued the case of Brown versus Board of Education before the Supreme Court, a case in which the court ruled that racial segregation violated the Equal Protection Clause of the Constitution. He was appointed to the court in 1967. Here's a poem for today by William Blake on another's sorrow. Can I see another's woe and not be in sorrow too? Can I see another's grief and not seek for kind relief? Can I see a falling tear and not feel my sorrow's share? Can a father see his child weep nor be with sorrow filled? Can a mother sit and hear an infant groan and infant fear? No, no, never can it be. Never, never can it be. And can he who smiles on all hear the wren with sorrow small, hear the small bird's grief and care, hear the woes that infants bear, and not sit beside the nest pouring pity in their breast, and not sit the cradle near, wiping tear on infant's tear, and not sit both night and day, wiping all our tears away. Oh, no, never can it be, never, never can it be. He doth give his joy to all. He becomes an infant small. He becomes a man of woe. He doth feel the sorrow, too. Think not thou canst sigh a sigh, and thy maker is not by. Think not thou canst weep a tear, and thy maker is not near. O oh, he gives to us his joy, that our grief he may destroy. Till our grief is fled and gone, he doth sit by us and moan. William Blake's poem, On Another's Sorrow. 
And that's the Writer's Almanac for Tuesday, July the 2nd, 2019. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch.